and welcome to Impact the Borough, the podcast from the Greensboro Chamber of Commerce. I'm Brent Christensen, President and CEO of the Chamber. Each week, we'll check in with our partners to share inspiring stories and important information from across the borough, highlighting what we're doing to start and grow businesses, create quality jobs, and develop our workforce. This podcast is brought to you by True Lion Federal Credit Union a modern, mission-driven financial institution focused on the needs of its members, the businesses it serves, and our community. With five locations in Guilford County, including a dedicated commercial lending office at Friendly Center and a highly rated mobile banking app, Truliant makes it their business to help you grow yours. Visit truliant.org for more information. Good morning. My name is Bramley Crisco, and I am the Director of Talent Development for Action Greensboro, and I'm thrilled to uh, be chatting today with one of our Campus Greensboro Higher Ed partners. This is the continuation of a series um, that we are doing. We are sharing with our audiences those things that our university partners are doing that they may not know or they may not know everything about. So we brought the experts and I'm thrilled this morning to be joined by folks from Elon University and Elon Law School. Uh, Brooke Buffington is the director of the Student Professional Development Center on campus at Elon University. And Victoria Waddell is a JD MBA candidate uh, in Elon Law. And they have um, some amazing facts and um, information they're gonna share with us today. And we're really thrilled. So thank you both for joining us. We're glad to be here. Thank you again. And Brooke, I just wonder, would you give us an overview of the kind of current state at Elon and Elon Law and um, as far as the number of students and um, programming and anything in general that you might wanna share about the community? We'd love to hear more about that. Sure, so Elon University, for those who maybe have a background on Elon, is a liberal arts institution located in Burlington, North Carolina, which is right near Greensboro and why we're one of uh, the Campus Greensboro partners. Um, we have a undergraduate student population of around 6,300 students, um, a graduate student population of around 700 to 800 students, 400 of which are in our School of Law, which is located right in Greensboro, um, and it's where Victoria goes to school and class every day. So um, we have, uh, we're a growing institution. We just were um, received a bet accreditation for our engineering program and, and open up a new engineering building on campus, which is exciting STEM uh, extension that we have within our undergraduate population. And we also just started our, our first nursing program last year. So a growing institution with a liberal arts base um, and a fantastic law school that's very innovative in its approach um, to how it educates future lawyers. I, I think that's such great information. Uh, Brooke, I had the chance to come out to campus and see you earlier this week. And I just wanted to share that it really is. The energy is it's just so exciting there and, and the new buildings. And um, I just appreciated the environment and, and the interaction with students was is really fun and nice to see all the things that are happening there. Uh, Victoria, would you share just a little bit about um, what it looks like, feels like to be in downtown Greensboro as a, in the school and, you know, how that's a little different, I'm sure, from being out on the campus? Absolutely. So I had the opportunity to be on both campuses with both programs, and I would say that being in downtown Greensboro, especially as a professional student, is the best environment to be in. You're surrounded by a lot of corporate buildings, lots of law firms around you. During the lunch hour, you can see lots of people walking around in suits or just comfortable wear. There's a nice food hall down the street and a park um, located just blocks away from the school. So it really has everything that you need to thrive both inside the, the campus and on the outside. And I think that I really enjoy it. Um, we have a parking lot right behind the school, so it's not too bad to find parking, which is you know uncommon for a downtown setting. So that makes things a little bit easier. And I just really enjoy the atmosphere that it brings. When I come to school, I'm around a lot of professionals and it feels good. That's great. And, and in most of your classes, what is the class size? Um, does that vary or how does that work? It does vary. So our core classes, uh, typically the 1L classes that everyone has to take, probably ranges from about 80 students in the classroom, um, which is a, a larger class for Elon. And then when you get to higher up classes or electives, it dwindles down to maybe about 20 to 30 people in the class, which is, in my opinion, a perfect size, which is why I chose Elon, because the professors, when they're skimming the room, have the opportunity to make eye contact with pretty much everyone in there. 
That's right. So, and you know, it probably also gives you a pretty great opportunity to connect with the other folks that are in your program and build that, that type of cohort environment. So I see the students walking around downtown very close to my office as well. And so I always enjoy that they're out there, you know, making the most of our city and kind of getting to know it as young professionals. Uh, Brooke, I'm going to circle back to you and just, I took a look at the website and, you know, there's just some words out there that I saw that I thought were really interesting. And I'd love to chat kind of about tagline, but I came across and it said student centered, globally engaged and experiential. And I just wonder if you might speak to some of those and, and what that means for students, because I, I think that those areas are so important and I'd really like to hear more about it. Right. So I'm going to kind of break it down. Uh, so yeah. student centered, every decision uh, that's made at Elon University is made with the student in mind. And, and as somebody who's been at the institution now for seven years in different roles, um, I can say that's across the board. So every time we're making a big decision, how does it impact the student? Is this the right thing for the student? And does it allow our students to grow and learn better while they're at the institution, whether it's at Elon Law in Greensboro um, or on main campus here at the university? Um, so very student-centered. It's why I love Elon um, is because we get to focus on the student every single day and make decisions in regards to the student success every single day. Uh, the next one, you said globally engaged, I believe. Yes, That's globally correct. engaged. Right? Yeah, globally <laughs> engaged, right? So we are number one in the um, nation for study abroad. Um, so uh, the vast majority of our students have a study abroad experience as a part of their experience uh, while they're here, but not only do they have that international experience, they, they reflect upon that experience once they come back to Elon, they really talk about and better understand how that experience impacted them, what they learned about themselves, learned about the world, and how they're going to carry that into their future. So it's about the experience itself, but it's also about the reflection and the processing of the experience and what that means for the student as they grow and learn. Um, and then the experiential piece, which I believe is the last word, is yeah. what is most exciting to me as somebody who's looking to help these students take their next steps post-graduation. Our students get a very hands-on education. I would say that's across the board at the law school and for our undergraduates and MBA students. Um, focusing on the hands-on nature of learning, understanding that learning happens both in the classroom, but also outside the classroom. So for every single one of our undergraduate students, they have to complete two experiential learning requirements uh, before they can graduate. It's either a study abroad, an undergraduate research, a leadership, community service, or an internship. So they're completing at least two, and many of our students complete more than two. It really gives them the hands-on experience that is extremely impactful as they make decisions about their future. I think I certainly appreciate that because through our campus Greensboro program, we have had lots of Elon students yes. who join us here in Greensboro and, um, you know, take advantage of doing their internship here and spending the summer with us. And, and we really appreciate that. And we like to think that it helps them, you know, think about what they're going to do next. And, and as all those things you just mentioned, Victoria, I know there's some experiential things about being in the law school. Uh, you mentioned, you know, being close to other law firms and that. Is there anything in particular or any experience? you might share with um, folks to better understand what that looks like? Absolutely. So there's opportunities both in the classroom setting for experiential learning and as a part of career building. So in the classroom, for example, we have a criminal law professor, Professor Friedland, one of my favorites. And some at some point in the semester, he brings in police officers and canines, and we walk outside in the park and he walks us through the process of collecting evidence and associating with particular crimes that we're learning in class. Um, also for our evidence class, sometimes Professor Dunham brings her students into the courtroom, which is located inside the campus and kind of walks through like a mock trial and how you utilize the, the topics that we're learning in an actual court proceeding. And then outside of the classroom, we have plenty of clinics, um, immigration clinic and a small business and entrepreneurship clinic, which the one I participated in for my residency, where we got to work with actual business owners in the Greensboro community and help them start a business or create operating agreements for them and help them with their nonprofit goals. And so all throughout your time at Elon, you have opportunity to do hands-on work. And another thing that I really enjoyed was the tax clinic. And we got to 
file tax returns for members of the community during tax season, which was really, really impactful for these people who utilize that free service. So that could go on and on about all the programs that we have at Elon, but we really do emphasize that experiential learning here. I think that's so great and we kind of have skipped ahead to one of the questions I always like to talk about is that that those programs that our university partners have in place that are really helpful to our local community I mean you just went through several where people can have their taxes done or have their business operating agreement created and and so I think those things um, have a significant impact on our community and wouldn't be here if uh, Elon Law and all the students were not Brooke are there any programs that you all have um, at the undergraduate level that you know you would identify as having a significant community impact. I know there are, but are there any you might want to highlight? Absolutely. One of the programs that comes to mind that's highly impactful is the It Takes a Village project. It's a project where our students have the opportunity to go into the secondary schools here in the county and work with students who might be at risk or just need some additional academic assistance with math, with Spanish language, with reading. Um, and it's a fantastic program where the students get to mentor these uh, up and coming, maybe future Phoenix uh, on their own academic skills and and, and Share what they're learning uh, with the secondary schools and with the students um, in those schools. So it's one of my favorite projects on campus and it's really impactful for both our students and the students in the county. So Victoria talked a little bit about the tax, uh, working with uh, people that needed assistance with their tax returns. There's a program for our undergraduate accounting students that's very similar to that, the VITA program, where it's a volunteer income tax return program, assisting those in the community with those tax returns. I talked about the nursing program a little bit earlier in our PA and PT school. There's a HOPE clinic that helps to provide medical resources for those that might be uninsured or um, concerned about seeking medical help elsewhere. That's a fantastic resource for the community. And we actually um, have six fellows um, who are postgraduate fellows who are actually employed by Elon, but working out in the community post-graduation for their first year after graduating from Elon University. And they're working in economics uh, development, they're working in education, and they're working in healthcare. So we really like to, you know, we think of the community that we're in as being the broader campus for students to learn from and to contribute to. And those are just a couple of examples of programs where they're able to do that. I think that you've covered so many things. And my next question is going to feel like sort of revisiting, but I know there may be some other information. Victoria, if you had someone that was considering Elon Law and you were, had the opportunity to recruit them into your programs or share with them why they should come, what are the, some of the things you talk about as far as the program location, particularly, you know, with Greensboro, is there anything that stands out that you share with them? Yeah, um, it's interesting that you asked this question because I feel like I'm more than prepared for this. On Thursdays, I work in admissions and I give tours to prospective students. So I feel like I have this, this question on lockdown here. <laughs> That's right, bringing the expertise for sure. <laughs> yes, so one of the biggest things that I market when I talk to prospective students is the two and a half year program and how we have trimesters instead of semesters. And so we do a fall, a winter, and a spring, similar to the undergrad, um, but that allows us to graduate in December and take the fall bar exam, which kind of puts us ahead of the curve for job opportunities and getting hired, um, whether it's locally or outside of the state. That is one of the biggest selling points I think about Elon. And another thing is the size of the school and us getting to know the administration very well, um, have a meeting with the Dean of Students uh, tomorrow actually to write a letter of recommendation for me. And I don't know if that would be possible at a larger school, just because I don't know if the Dean gets the opportunity to really speak and know the students where I've taken a couple classes where he's been my professor. So um, that that's a really big selling point, but also just the community that it builds. We have so many cool programs and activities throughout the week. We have coffee and conversations on Tuesday, where we get to just sit and drink coffee and, and have some good conversation with all levels of administration at the school and they know us by name. And so I really love that it feels like a family here. Thank you. That is, a, those are all great things to know. And I think certainly folks will appreciate hearing that. Uh, Brooke, I would assume the same having been on campus. And like I said, that energy, and I just felt the student connection. Um, I know while not sitting right directly in Greensboro, then larger area, you know, what are some of the things that you all talk about our area in particular and where uh, the university sits to, to share with students of, of why they might be ha happy coming down and joining us here? 
Well, I think Victoria said it best when she said it's a family, right? So it's not only do the students have a community that you felt when you were on campus, um, but then they have the greater community that's embraced the students and the university as a whole. And so students are able to have this on-campus res residential experience. We do have a residential campus. So the vast majority of our students live and are educated here every single day. Um, but the greater community that we're in, including Greensboro, um, is a place where they can go make an impact, complete an internship, have a part-time job, volunteer, um, contribute to a nonprofit and really expand upon the education and development that they're getting from Elon University. So it's it's kind of the the we we call it you know they're living on campus and being educated on campus, but they're learning from the greater community as well. So exactly, and I would say today, looking outside, we have pretty great weather here too. So <laughs> as we head into fall, that's one of the things that I'm sure students appreciate. Well, our time is going so quickly, and we are sort of coming to the end of our time together, and and we've shared a lot of information. But one of the things I always ask is, you know, are there things that you would like to share, Brooke? I'll start with you about um, what's the best way for folks to get in touch with you, and what's the best way for them to check out things that are happening on campus? Are there um, athletic events they can attend? You know, that that sort of thing. Would you share some of that with us? Sure, absolutely. So we we Division One school fantastic athletic teams on campus obviously fall is known for football so I was at a football game just last weekend it was our first our opening home game always encourage community members to come check out uh, Elon Sports and Elon, Elon Athletics we have a fantastic group of student athletes that work hard every day and do a fantastic job in our conference. Um, we bring wonderful speakers to campus. So um, there's a speaker series that we have every semester that's on the website and easy for people to access. And we really um, encourage community members to come enjoy those speakers. Um, our musical theater program is one of the top in the nation for putting students on Broadway. Um, if you want to uh, come and see future Broadway stars, I highly recommend coming to a musical theater production on campus if you're close by. You really are seeing future Broadway talent uh, right here in the local area, um, and it's they're, they're amazing at what they do. Those are just a couple of the different ways that, um, and then as you mentioned, it's a beautiful campus. It's a nice place to be, right? So if, if you have a nice Friday afternoon like we do today, um, you can uh, enjoy a walk around the lake. You can have a picnic um, and walk the labyrinth. Just have a lot to do on campus as well, uh, along with the events that we hold. That's great. Would you share the website just for folks who may not know it? Uh, would you? Yes, yeah, just the website, www.elon.edu um, is going to be the website. It should, uh, and you can write in, you know, into our search bar, whatever you need to find. If you want to put speakers or athletic events, um, you'll quickly find whichever, um, whichever facet of programming that you're interested in attending um, through that website, elon.edu. Thank you. That's the quickest way. Yes. So, Maria, I'm going to ask the same of you about the law school and just thinking, you know, we, we chat about a lot of things. And um, is there anything that we missed or anything additional that you'd like to share? Um, I will say that we have the pleasure of having the Grasshopper Stadium right next to the school. So this year we've been giving out tickets and offering students to buy tickets. Um, and so some of my friends and I bought a bundle and we are going to go to the games and have a good time. So while we don't have as many sports opportunities on the law school campus, the community offers so much. And then right maybe two streets over is Elm Street that has lots of restaurants um, and then a couple bars that students can hang out in if you have a little bit of free time. Not that much in law school, but if you find some, there's some places to go hang out. So uh, it's a great place to be. Exactly. I ran across um, some of your fellow students having meetings in LeBauer Park, yes. which was really cool. I was like, they got to take their group meeting outside and sit in our beautiful LeBauer Park. So I would share with folks that are listening who may not have visited there, go check out LeBauer Park as well. I feel like this has been an amazing conversation. I know I've learned things uh, about e the university as a whole and uh, the law school that I did not know before. Um, I can't miss the opportunity uh, to share that we do lots of things together, including 
uh, we are going to be on Elon's campus doing our Lead Your City Conference, which is a professional development conference for young professionals in our entire area. And we really appreciate uh, the partnership and, and the things that we get to do like that outside of internships and sitting down the street from each other from the law school. Uh, we really appreciate that partnership. So thank you both very much. I think we've shared good info and um, we've also shared if somebody needs to know more, they know where to find it. Make sure to subscribe so you get new episodes delivered to your device each week. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at GSO Chamber. See you next time.